Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2011 Suzuki Lapan. It's got 101,500 kilometers on it, which is about 63,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you get out here. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. There are benefits of doing it this way, and we'll go and explain why when you get here, even before you get your silver driver's licenses, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go up and cover a lot of information in my videos and answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You have all the answers. If not, go into contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Lapan is a four passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category, so the smaller category. Road tax per year is gonna be uh, 3,000 yen, which is about 25 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it till next. Now you do have two ways to pay for it. The first one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Totally up to you. This does not have any rain guards to show you, okay? But always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's jump on in. Let's get this baby started. All right, so you key fob on your person, uh, foot on the brake. It is a push start, so push that one time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this real quick before it goes away. That, oops. So that, that's your new temperature gauge, okay? It's gonna be light green when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's gonna go away, and then it'll be red if it's overheating, so be on the lookout for that. We had our car started before, that's why I'm showing that now. But uh, 101,601 on the odometer. Uh, I already showed you that one. Uh, that one right there is obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And this one right here is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar. It is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And you see that temperature light went uh, off already. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And they pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have your radio. Uh, shifter, air conditioning controls, a cup holder, power outlet, and another little uh, compartment for some storage. Uh, continuing off to the left, you have this uh, above the glove box, you have this little area right here. Be careful when you're opening this, is all it open, it doesn't open up all the way. And everybody always does it too much and breaks it, all right? But if you, if you can avoid it, I'd avoid it, okay? Then you have the glove box itself, then a little bit of storage in each door panel, okay? That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I could drive as is, or actually slide it up maybe an inch and still be comfortable driving. And as I turned, I, I saw that it does have an armrest that I always forget. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles, okay? I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't say that. We can for all our cars. Okay, so uh, this is graded number four from the auction and a C&C for the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade uh, for the car. Okay, and that's gonna be up here on the sun visor so you'd uh, see for yourself and we'll actually give it to you. Uh, before we go to the back, I wanna show you a couple other things. It does have an additional cup holder on each corner or each end of the uh, dash. Uh, you do have your uh, mirror controls and your window controls on the door handle here. Right here. This is, um, everybody always asking me about this. This is uh, to adjust the um, the angle of the headlight. So maybe if it's a foggy morning, want to see a little better, this is where you do it from. Then a little shelf at down here. I'm not exactly sure what you, you, what you would use that for. And then you got your hood release down here. And then please don't forget in the front here on the side uh, of your seat, you do have your gas cover release. All right, so I'm going to uh, turn this thing off. Let's go to the back. So just space back here and these doors open up uh, like 90 degrees it's actually pretty easy to get in and out all right all right so with the seat all the way back all the way down we're good two inches away from the back of the seat to my knees uh, nothing as far as storage in the uh, back of the driver's seat but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat and as you can see as i say in all my videos they probably put something too large in there and they they actually ripped that a little bit okay it's a horrible design you know you see that this is a piece of metal or hard plastic all right and then a little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. No center console or anything. 
then of course you got the rabbit bling the rabbit head dot in the eye the rabbit in the front okay and then um this is your uh, space back here on the side here is the lever you could actually fold that down you have all that open space okay these are really really popular cars let's uh, go to the front here show the engine compartment along with the rabbit bling again so there's the powerhouse 660 cc engine nice and clean all right and there you have it 2011 suzuki lapan 101 and a half thousand kilometers on it which is getting about 63,000 miles uh, military price goes down to 5200 with additional military discount we'll get it down to 5,000 flat again while you're here please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and we will get you a lower price on it okay but for now, the 5000 going to include the two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Um, touching on these warranties out here, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread. Stop by, by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have. Even the Lemon Lots, go out and see what everybody else has. But definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. All right, so don't forget, two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.